Hey everyone, today we're gonna be doing a late code question, which is to find minimum increment to make a array unique. So in this question, they are stated like you are given an integer array nums, and they are saying like in one move you can either pick uh, index of a particular element and increment its value by one. They have asked us to return the minimum number of moves to make every value in the nums array as unique. Also, they are saying the test case with generate uh, will fit in the 32 bit integer. Okay, that's fine. Now, see the constraint. They are saying a number of size, you can the size of an array can go from 1 to 10 to the power 5, and the number inside that array, uh, the element inside that array can go from 1, uh, 0, so 0 to 2 to the power 5, uh, 10 to the power 5. Sorry. So, let's see how to do this with some example. So, we'll take the second example first. So we are given some array, uh, let's say num, nums, and it is like 3, 2, 1, 2, 1, and 7. The output required is 6 over here. So if you see like they have asked us to like uh, increment the element's value by 1, 1 character or 1, 1 number. So all the number inside this array will be like distinct, unique. So you can say like if it is one, the another number should come more than this. So if we make this two, there are two more again two. So we need to increment all the numbers. So if I say like how we can do this. So basically like if you have heard about the heaps. So I will do something similar in process. So we'll create some, will not create like I'll just give you one assumption like what we are going to do in this question. So suppose we have pushed all this element to a heap and we will be picking up the minimum element. So suppose this is a min heap. I will not be coding this one but uh, just for the like understanding purpose uh, I will be like explaining with this example. So suppose this is a min heap. I will be picking up one one element from here and uh, I might have one previous element. So previous will be like zero for now. Now every time a number comes in this particular heap i'll pick one number i'll compare with the previous picked one so initially it is zero so i can pick one number i can mark this one as a uh, like i can pick this and i can mark this as one because uh, if a number is greater than this the previous element so i can like uh, iterate to the next element if number is equals to or uh, if you see here if i pick this number and if i pick this number either it will be greater uh, it will be like equal. So we are required to increment its value. So suppose we have marked this as a 1. So another value should be greater than 1 in this array. So if I say okay this should be marked as 2. So rest 2 remaining should be incremented by 1 1 1 character. Okay. So brute force what we can do. We can take this one increment all this value. In take this one increment all those values. Take this one increment all those value. So we we gonna be doing the same here. So I will be taking out one one element. So I'll say okay, I have taken the first one. Now my previous is so let me create one box also. So I might have one previous value here. I have my popped value, and I will be pushing something. So I I will maintain a count how many times I have incremented some of them values. So suppose. Initially, I have my previous as 0. Now, I have picked 1. So, I have popped 1. Now, if you see here, my previous value is what? Less than the popped value. Okay, it's fine. So, the count will be remain 0 for now. So, this fine. We are not, uh, we have like successfully taken out this number. So, like for this number, there is no additional uh, like operations required either increment or decrement. Now, if I take the second minimum value, the next value we have popped is 1. So uh, every time like uh, when we have successfully popped a value here, I can mark that as a previous. <clears throat> so the last popped value will become 1, uh, the previous here. Now, if we have popped this, this value, so it will be like 1, but 1 is not less than 1. So what we have done, we will be incrementing its count. So I have incremented one time its count and I have pushed this back to the heap. Okay. Next time I will be picking this element. Now 
my previous remains 1 my now next pop value is 2 so 1 is less than 2 yeah it's fine so i can mark my previous as 2 now i have not incremented any value so count remains 1 i will take another 2 so now previous was 2 now again now we have pop, uh, popped out 2 here so now 2 is not less than 2 so we might need to increment this one to 3 so we have incremented and pushed back here so this time count will become 2 now again we have uh, we have like previous is 2 again we have popped 2 here so here 2 also not less than 2 we might uh, pushing the 3 back again here and the count will become 3 because we have pushed one more element here now i will be picking up the next minimum so any 3 i can pick over here i will pick this one now my previous is 2 i have picked the 3 so yeah it's fine uh, i can go further because 2 is less than 3 okay now i can take another 3 now my previous is 3 i have picked one 3 so 3 is not less than 3 i need to increment its value and i have incremented the count as well now i have pushed this 4 back to here again i will take one 3 here like i will take another minimum value it's again 3 3 is not less than 3 i will pop like i have i will push this value over here i will increment this value i'll another time i'll take this one okay 3 uh, 3 i uh, is the previous value the next popped value from a minimum is 4 so this time file remains 5 another times i will push 1 4 again so my previous become now 4 i have again pushed 1 4 now 4 is not less than 4 this time the count will become 6 and i will be pushing the 5 again over here because i will be incrementing one value to the pop last pop one now again my previous is 4 my next pop is 5 so 4 less than 5 we are fine count is still same now my previous become 5 my next pop will be 7 so 5 is less than 7 we have 5 less than 7 so count is still remains 6 so at last we will be returning some count over here okay so we have total how many six uh you can say six as a output like six minimum moves are required to make this work efficiently like we have we are required to change the six time value of these numbers so like in total we are required six changes to make this element as a unique so we might we might be making this as a two this as a three this might be as a four this might be as a five and remaining it's fine okay so we need to increment those value one by one and total we need to find what is the minimum move so this is what a basic example so i will not be coding this this is the how uh, the logic what we are going to do but i will be doing the optimized way the more optimized algorithm so what we're doing uh we have this nums array okay we have this nums array 3 2 1 2 1 and 7 uh, we will be doing the sorting of this number so if i sort this number okay i will sort this number it will become like 1 1 2 2 3 and 7 if you see here if i iterate over this array this is my array okay this is my array i will be checking of each number either its forward element or the previous element so if i start from here i'll say okay if it is greater than previous element then it's fine if it is not just increment one value like if it is one just uh, add make this element as a previous plus one if you see here now we'll create another array okay this was fine first element was fine it is not like it is they are saying is one less than one no so we gonna be taking this element plus one so it will be one 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 is two now if you see uh, our pointer came to here this value become two this is also two so we need to like place last value plus one so we will be marking as a three now if you see here this is two we mark the last value is three so we need to make them as a four so we will be taking three plus one so last plus one so it will be like four now for this also this is three 
it is required last plus four it is five and it is fine it is seven fine if you see here we have done how many operations here like we have one difference for this one so i have done one addition for this one i have done one for this one for this two for this two for this so in total how much it is six so this is the more like simplest approach we gonna be doing we will be doing a sorting we will be like looking the previous element if it is greater than our logic uh, our current element we gonna be like adding it to our count and we will be replacing its value to uh, the minimum last one so let me do the code for this one so we will be having some count count equals zero i will be sorting this array number dot sort now i will be iterating over this array so i'll say okay for i in range i will be iterating from one to length of a num because first value we will be checking the previous one so for zero index we cannot check i will be checking the last element uh, the first and the zeroth element every time so if i say okay if the last element if i say the i element uh, you can say if uh, i element is uh, let me say yeah if i say i element is uh, less than equals to the previous one okay i minus 1 or uh, if you say if i some compare for i minus 1 element if it is greater than equals to the current element okay this will be fine so if it is greater than equals to the current element we need to have this count added so what was the difference the change in the value plus 1 okay so it will be like i will be doing plus 1 and the change will be the largest will be what our nums with the previous index and i will be decrementing my current current like ith version so it is like nums all of them is nums okay this will be our count now every time i need to increment uh, the current element so if the ith element is more than that so i need the previous element plus one so i'll say okay previous element plus one and at last i will be returning my count over here so let me compile this code so let me see if it is working fine or not so as you can see it is compiled successfully let me submit this code and uh, this this will work so we have done this code uh, it is a bit optimized uh, we have 50 percent beat the competition one time so for this now the <clears throat> The space complexity is constant and the time complexity is like n log n for sorting so for this we have taken like uh, n log n n log n sorting and for this iteration we have took how much uh, we have took n so order of n we have done for iteration so in total like n log n will be the time complexity of this uh, approach and that's all for today's thanks for watching